It's been shown that women on average are exposed to about 160 different chemicals on a daily basis just from personal care product and beauty product use. And that women of color in particular have much higher exposures. So that led me to ask the question, well, what about women of color who are not only using these products for personal use, but also on a daily basis as part of their job? We've been in business for 22 years and I can honestly say we've never had a slow moment. Sometimes when I do new clients, they come into the salon and they say, it's something about the energy in this place. No slowing down. I've always liked doing hair as a young child, and I think one of the reasons I really got into it, because growing up, I have so many female cousins, like 20 of them. I used to plan all of their hair, and then I just enjoyed making other women feel and look beautiful. I'm actually an engineer by training, and what drove me to public health was my drive and passion to help others, but also the lack of studies and knowledge on historically underrepresented and understudied populations. Leslie Ann came through my hair network, and that stands for Health Advocates in Search and Research. To make this pilot study possible, it was really key for me to establish community relationships, particularly because communities of color might be reluctant to be in research or might be skeptical. The light bulb definitely went off when Leslie Ann did the air quality assessment. When she brought back the information to us, the chemicals that we were using were also found in our urine samples. And I just began to do research and realize how toxic those chemicals were. Some of these products, when you use them and you apply heat, whether it's a flat iron, whether it's a blow dryer, you're actually creating other chemicals. And so this list of chemicals on the product is not sufficient to know the totality of what you're potentially exposed to. To me, it's really important to try to understand what these potential exposures mean. As a scientist, I have to rely on my science, rely on my data and what it's telling me to then inform potential actions as a result of those findings. What I would like to see is Leslie Ann really get her grant to be able to go out to other salons and do assessments on air quality so that other stylists will be informed of how dangerous these chemicals can be over time. We need to study this further and expand on this work to ensure the protection of this population.